Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight What is going on guys, Nord97 here, back again with another YouTube video, and today, yeah, you can't see my face, you're seeing me play uh, NHL content between the Anaheim Ducks and the Buffalo Sabres here, obviously, I'm dominating it because that is how it works, but today, the reason why we're playing in front of an NHL 21, you know, game is because, A, I want to be like LR99, just kidding, and um, we're going to talk about EA Sports, NHL 22, everything in that aspect, so... Over the past couple weeks, NHL trailers have been coming out, whether it's about, you know, the cover athlete, or it's about the franchise mode, or about World of Chell, you know, everything in that aspect. And honestly, we're going to review all those things here. The cover, eh, I, I, don't, I don't know, it's Matthews, that we already done Matthews uh, a couple games, uh, like two games back in NHL 20. I, I really don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I mean, like, the thing is with Ovechkin, like, they took time between him before they put him in again. And, I mean, like, sure, Matthews is the most marketable player. But you could have gone with someone like Artemi Panarin or, you know, David Pasternak. You had options there, but apparently they decided to go with Matthews. But whatever. I mean, a guy who's never been past the first round compared to, you know, someone who's scored, like, 50 goals before. it. Whatever. It, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, the covers that World of Chell I really do like. Um, I like the new loading screen, I like the new factors, I like the, you know, the new additions they added to it, um, like, you know, it's much easier to go to sixes lobbies, or, you know, open bags, or customize players, you can really just press one button, and it doesn't require loading, and that, I think, is really going to be really useful, and it's going to, you know, give us a lot more time to, you know, play more games, let's say, you know, before we have to go to bed every night before, <laughs> before high school, because, yeah, I apparently have a bedtime, um, just figure that out because summer and online school uh, the past couple of years it really hasn't been a bedtime exactly. But you know what? Whatever. Things change. So, anyways, I like that very much. But we're not here to just talk about that. We're here to talk about should we really buy NHL 22? Now, of course, the answer is yes. Obviously, I'm going to buy NHL 22. No doubt in my mind. I've, I've already pre-ordered. I've already talked to my parents. We're already going to pre-order the game. No doubt in my mind. Uh, it's just... Just to stay relevant, because obviously we're going to be making, you know, content. We're going to be making franchise modes. Probably it'll be a pro mode if I have time for it. Um, we're going to try and do all those things, and we're going to try and stay consistent with all those things like we have failed to do in the past with both the Montreal Canadiens franchises and the New Jersey Devils franchise modes. But the thing is with the Devils franchise mode was, because I'm going to go into a little bit of an analyzation with this here. The Devils one, my PS4 kind of just took a crap. And uh, I lost all of my saved offline progress. Uh, like, I lost all my creative players that I had, and I lost all my upgrades. I lost everything. I, I don't know what happened. Like, my system storage just corrupt. Everything was screwed up. I got all my online stuff back. Like, I got my World of Chell. My World of Chell stuff saved. My HUD stuff saved. My GTA, completely unrated. That stuff saved, uh, except for the story mode. But everything else was fine except for like you know the offline stuff so obviously i lost that privilege and of course that meant i lost the devil's franchise i was going to make an episode uh actually this week until i realized uh yeah no <laughs> i didn't have the files so it really sucked to be honest but next year we'll definitely do that and as for the montreal one i just kind of lost track i you know school happened you know all that other stuff i got busy I think it was around the time where I had I got grounded and took a break for a little bit, uh, you know, all that stuff. So, anyways, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about, should we really buy NHL 22? And the question is, okay, I said I was going to. Yes, I understand that. But, here's the big but. If we don't, like, let's say if we don't, maybe then EA will realize something. Maybe EA will, EA, EA, EA will then realize that, oh, they're not buying the game. Maybe then we should start adding the changes in what the people really want. Now, they said that they would look into GM Connected, and that's the main reason why I'm making this video. It's because they're at least looking into the possibility of bringing back GM Connected, which GM Connected in the realm that we have, doing it with, like, you know, other hockey YouTubers, other hockey TikTokers, you know, other hockey people, even with your friends even. Like, this could be turned into a really cool 
uh, way to do YouTube, and it could really get people, you know, getting to know the game of hockey, and it could really, you know, benefit. And it would be a lot of fun, too. Um, you know, of course, the details would be hard to figure out, like, how would you do the schedule? Like, would everyone have to sim at once? Would they play the games? Would they sim the games? You know, there's, there's a lot of factors to it in GM Connected where you just can't add it in, you know, right away, obviously. And I get... I get people want it. I want it too, most definitely. Me and my friends are thinking about fleecing some of our friends who aren't really the biggest hockey fans that we are. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. But, anyways, regarding that, honestly, there's a lot of details they need to factor in, of course. But, you know, of course we all want it. Of course, we've all wanted like things like winter classic modes, uh, stadium series, practice, all, well, you already practice, all-star games, you know, things like that. That people wanted to add and honestly I think it very well could happen um, I, it's not happening in this NHL 22 but it very well could happen in the future but the thing is is that we've seen with Madden we've seen with NBA 2k is that you know they give the rights to another game they give the NHL game rights to another company and I, I feel like if the NHL did that and gave EA a little bit of competition instead of just giving it to EA sports every year Maybe then you'll have them thinking, oh, well, okay, so maybe we add in some of the stuff they'll think of. But looking into GM Connected is definitely at least a step in the right direction, maybe. But it doesn't change the fact that there's all these weird glitches in World of Chell. There's, of course, the Blackout glitch uh, that I like to call Blackout Tuesday. <laughs> Don't get it, please. Um, in, in, in World of Chell, obviously, where you go on a penalty shot and your screen will just go black and you can't do anything. And that, that really just upsets a lot of people it's happened to me and my friends many times before in modes where you know like you're down like let's say you're down three two four three you know anything along those lines and let's say you're in the third period like a lot you're like the dying minutes and you know you get a penalty shot and like you obviously know that the glitch goal exists on cpu goaltenders which is also kind of a stupid thing as well i mean it works out of course uh if you're the one that's doing it but you know it, it really does make a thing and that's another aspect too you need to make the ais better that's the one thing EA needs to do. And I, I haven't seen that yet. And I've heard from some people who have played the beta. I have not played the beta myself. The beta is very the the beta is very glitchy. The graphics aren't too good as they were in, you know, obviously the trailers. But the thing is with that, like, it's gonna be glitchy. The beta is going to be glitchy. It's not the actual actual NHL game. Like, th that's what people can't process. They say, oh, it's really glitchy, oh, the graphics are bad. It's not the actual game yet. It's not the game that we were waiting for yet. So it's obviously not going to be, you know, the game that we, the game that is projected. So obviously it's going to be a little bit glitchy in the beta. But the thing is still, if we give EA other competitors, maybe then they'll realize, you know, what we need, obviously. And of course, the penalty shot glitch, the goalie glitch goal, you know, all those things are big factors that play into the world of Chell World. Just the world of Chell World singular. And that's the mode that I play the most, obviously. Of course, I play, you know, I don't play franchise mode too, too often because I'm busy with YouTube and obviously now school's coming up, so I'm going to have even less time on my hands. But obviously, you know, it's beneficial to have that. So, you know, it, it's it's a big conversation, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. I'd like to thank y'all for watching for Export as of Late, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios, y'all.